have a roll of uh, vintage 616 film and we want to develop that in our Patterson tank with our regular spool. Now, uh, uh, everything I'm about to uh, show you uh, also applies to 116 film. Uh, both 616 and 116 are both 70 millimeter. So if we try to put 70 millimeter film onto a 120 spool, 120 film is 60 millimeter. So uh, it's too large, it won't fit. So how do we get this film into our Patterson tank? Well, let me show you the secret. So we're gonna break that apart and we're gonna take the center spindle, put the, uh, put the skinny end, we've got the skinny end and the uh, larger collar piece. We're gonna put the skinny end onto the base of the spool by the spindle. Now we're gonna take another skinny end, we're gonna need that, and uh, we're gonna take that from another, another spool. Right now we're gonna take the, uh, so we've got the one that's on the spindle, we're gonna slide the collar piece on like this, and we're just gonna rotate that till we find a spot where it seats, and it doesn't seat perfectly. Spot, that's as good as I'm gonna get it, right there. And then we're going to take that second piece and we're going to put that down on top of the first. And we're going to rotate that so that the uh, tabs line up like that. Now, when you do this, normally these are locked together so you can't separate them. And in this case, they're not locked. They will come apart. So as you're doing everything, you need to keep a little bit of a downward tension to keep them uh, latched together. But it, it's not too difficult. Okay, now we take our, our, our film inside the dark room or inside a dark bag. And you'll notice we can easily slide that under the tabs underneath the uh, ball bearings. And once that's done, then we can load it in place as normal. But again, be careful you don't pull this apart. Now, once you get all of that on, so you get all the film loaded onto your spindle, your spool, when you put it into the tank, be careful you don't grab it just by this top end. Kind of put your fingers in the center, hold that spindle, and carefully slide that down into the tank. And uh, the uh, top will still fit and latch in place. Now, be aware that this is sitting higher than usual, so you're going to need a little bit of extra chemistry to uh, to fill up to completely cover your film. Don't put in the same amount of chemistry you normally do for a 120 roll. So you need a little bit extra. I think I used uh, 600 mils to uh, uh, just to make sure that the film was fully covered. Anyway, that is how you put 616 and uh, also 116 film into a Patterson tank. Now I should also mention when you are agitating your film, it's uh, very important that you don't do the uh, uh, inversion type agitation because those spools are not locked to locked together. If you invert it, I can pretty much guarantee your film is going to separate from the spool. So instead, for uh, agitation, I strongly recommend you use the Patterson tank the way it was designed. And that is use the uh, swizzle stick method to agitate your film side to side. And like that. So uh, use that type of agitation rather than completely inverting the tank.